Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Diani Neves. I'm a Christian blogger, influencer, and mentor who's dedicated to inspiring God's daughters to spread their wings and pursue their purpose. In addition to that, I am also a mouthpiece for the Lord, which means that I share the messages he puts on my heart for my brothers and sisters in Christ. I have a few different messages coming out today, so um, you're probably gonna see like two to three videos come out. The first message she gave me stems from a vision I got, two actually, and they were literally two minutes apart. Um, he gave the first vision to me on April 12th at 3.50 in the morning, and in this vision I saw a knot being pulled, so it was a knot, right? And then it was being pulled from two different ends or from each end. And um, God immediately spoke, he's tying up loose ends. And he had me look up what that means, although I know what it means, you know, God and his details. To tie up loose ends, it encompasses um, unfinished details, incomplete business, it means to tidy up, and it means to complete the parts of something that have not yet been completed. And he gave me a scripture for this first half of the message, which is Philippians 1, 6, which says, And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. In the second vision I got, um, literally two minutes later, on April 12th at 3.52 in the morning, um, I was looking from the point of view of God, okay? So I was looking at a young man in front of him, um, from his point of view and I just, I just knew that I was looking from God's point of view and in this vision he was brushing off the suit I was brushing off the suit of this young man and he was it was a nice suit it was a really nice fancy tux right um he was removing any any wrinkles or lint that he was finding on this young man's tux and he was adjusting and straightening his tie. And upon sitting with God and asking what that vision was about, which I already kind of had a feeling, um, he said that he's getting the men ready to receive their brides, like a father at his son's wedding, which I thought was so sweet, okay? The scripture that he gave me for this is John 3, verse 29, which says, the one who has the bride is the bridegroom. The friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly at the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, the joy of mine is now complete. So in this vision, if you couldn't already gather what God is trying to share with you all today, he is tying up the loose ends regarding your kingdom marriage. He's tying up any loose ends regarding your reconciliation, your restoration, if you're waiting on him for a prodigal. He's tying up the loose ends regarding um, whatever he's doing in your life. If um, you have yet to meet your kingdom spouse and you're waiting for him to present you ladies to him um, and men to receive your wives. So super exciting, super, super exciting. Of course, always take these words back to God for further confirmation. Any prophetic word you receive um, from a prophet, from a prophetess, you always, always, always want to look at it as a conversation starter. You wanna take it to God um, because he always has more that he's wanting to reveal to you about your specific and personal circumstance. Something else God put on my heart um, and relayed through John 3, 29 in the part that says, therefore the joy of mine is now complete. He wants you to know if this word is for you, that he is just as excited and ready for this union to come to pass as you are, if not more. Remember that him joining you with your spouse, him joining you with your husband, with your wife, that's for his glory. He gave you a promise and as it says in Philippians 1, 6, he is going to bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ, which when Jesus Christ comes back, that's the ultimate matrimony. That's the ultimate wedding. That's the ultimate reconciliation of the bride and the groom. And so your kingdom marriage is only a reflection of our relationship with Christ, the relationship that Christ has with the body, with the church. God is going to bring this to pass because it's really not about you. It's not about us, those of us who are waiting on this kingdom marriage, on this promise of marriage um, to the one that he's ordained for us to be with. I know there have been a lot of kingdom marriage words coming out and even myself, I've been feeling really discouraged. Um, it's been it's been rough, okay? I won't lie, it's definitely been rough. Um, but be encouraged. Do not give up hope. The one thing that the enemy is after is your faith. 
okay? And it seems redundant, but God does not release these messages. He does not have his, his um, mouthpieces release these messages for the sake of repeating himself. He does it to remind us of the promise he made us because throughout this faith walk, throughout this faith journey, the enemy is doing everything he can to get us to lose sight of what God spoke, to get us to lose faith in God, to get us to, to forget that God already showed us the end result. He gave us a glimpse of it. He gave us the blueprint and he said, this thing I've done for you in the spirit, it is already finished. I just need you to walk this out with me until you see it manifest in the physical because it's going to, it's going to, all right? So I love you. God loves you so much more. If you have a prayer request, go on my website. The information is in the description box. I would love to pray for you if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call. The information is also linked down below. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.